Hey everyone, welcome to Bug Smashers. I'm your host, Mark Gaben. I'm a gameplay programmer here at CAG Los Angeles, and I'm here to show you behind the scenes of some bugs and how I smash them. Let's take a look. Bug Smashers! Hey everyone, we're here inside of the Caterpillar, and we have a bug um, where these fun cargo doors sometimes don't open or they open incorrectly. And these doors are a little bit special because there's an interior part and exterior part. So you can think of the interior here and the exterior here. And when you open it, they're supposed to be coincide. When you close it, they're supposed to go together. However, when you look away from the door, the exterior opens, but the interior remains where it was until you look at it and then it may start animating or it just gets stuck. So if we open it up, we can see it, everything looks fine. Um, if I close it and look away, it'll take a bit. Bam. Oh, we can see the exterior door closed, but the interior, which it should show this like metal um, stuff with Drake on it and all that panels, is not closed. So the interior, we could actually fly out. The exterior closed. The interior has not. Uh, so if I run over here and hit close, you can see it snapped to the close position and now it works correctly. So what's going on? Well, there's a bit of code that says, hey, if this thing is visible, we could fire off on um, the animations. Uh, the idea that it's some kind of optimization, so if there's a ship way out there, I don't have to animate it because why take up all those CPU cycles? But unfortunately, when we're inside the ship, the exterior knows that we're potentially visible, so it animates, but the interior, when we switch this way, that CGA in the back is not owned by any entity, it's just there. And because of that, it doesn't animate correctly. Um, even though it's attached to the animation of the ship, it's just cold out because it's like, well, it's not visible, I shouldn't have to worry about it. Um, so, I uh, have this bit of code in Mannequin, if I enable it. What this will do is it checks to see if this entity has a parent, which is going to be the ship, and if this door, the interior, has is enslaved to the exterior, and the exterior is visible, then we allow it to animate even though you can't see it. The idea is if you can see the exterior, then you should potentially see the interior when the door opens and closes. Uh, so what we do is if the owner entity, which is going to be the vehicle, which is going to be the exterior door, is active, but the interior one is not, we're going to force it to be active. Uh, same thing down here. So we're forcing the entity to be active and we're forcing the skeleton to be active. What that will do is this will allow um, the entity to do an update call to tell the animation system, hey, I'm active, so go process my animations, and this will allow the skeleton to actually function. So two updates we have to do, any of these system way to say, hey, animation, I'm ready, and the animation system will go, yep, I'm ready too. So in theory, this should allow, if the outer door is ready, the inner door will be forced to be ready so they can open and close together. So let's the recode button and take a look at what happens. All right, recode is done. Let's start back up the game. All right, so we're back in the level and let's close the door. Oop. Magic door closed. We won't look at it. Doo, doo, doo. Wham, it's closed as you would expect. All right, let's open it again. Oop. Let's not look at it, not look at it, and it's open. So we're now getting the interior to update when the exterior is updating. So if I close this, go into another room, open that door, go to the other room, it's closed correctly, and this room should be open correctly. So if the interior is um, not updating, but the exterior is, we say, hey, 
you should be because we're updating both and then they both play the animation everything works well and you could open and close your doors just by not looking at it well hope you guys enjoyed till next time Woo! so as you guys saw we had uh, the caterpillar and it's just gigantic long ship and it has all these bay doors in it and you're supposed to be able to hit one or open one up and it brings down the bay door and it's a little bit of complicated geometry in this setup because we have an exterior mesh with a door and an interior mesh. So there's two doors at the same time that open and close. And what was happening is when you were looking at one of the doors, it opened correctly. However, if you looked that way, when the doors opened, one of the doors would open, but the other would stay intact. And it would usually be the exterior door that opened and the interior door when you're inside wouldn't open until you looked at it and then it would start animating. But by then it would be too late and it'd be stuck open or stuck closed. And, you know, you could go around hitting all the buttons and it wouldn't move until you looked at it. Um, it was a simple fix. We just made sure that if the exterior animates, then we forced the interior to animate at the same time. <clears throat> so the doors would open and close even if you looked the opposite way. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time. Thank you for watching. So if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.